this is 2C. Moved it to a new page so we have tons of room. Let's again find our LCD. This guy doesn't have a denominator, so we can make it one. So remember, we need one of every part. So we need a T plus three part, and then just a T part. The one we don't really need to include. I'm gonna write this a different way to help understand what's going on. We start with this eight over T plus three. And now I need to multiply this fraction times my LCD, which is T plus 3 times T. And then I have this equal sign, 1 over T, and I'm again going to multiply by my LCD, which is T plus 3 times T. And then plus 1. Now I'm going to multiply that by t plus 3 times t. So now we need to go back and take a look at what can cross off. So in this very first fraction, we have a t plus 3 on both the top and the bottom. So we end up with 8t. And then we still have this equal sign. And this next one, 1 over t, the things that cross off are just the plain old t's. So we end up with 1 times t plus 3. And then finally, we get to this fraction here, and this cannot cross off. It can't simplify. So what I'm going to end up doing is multiplying 1 times all of that stuff. Or t plus 3 times t. So now we're on the verge of simplifying. We went from fractions, all this black stuff up here, to just plain old numbers. These we can solve. So 8t I'm just going to leave for right now, and let's simplify this side. This 1 doesn't really need to be distributed, it's really t plus 3. But this t needs to be distributed. So we end up with t squared plus 3t. We have some like terms to combine, and you should also notice that there's something squared. So that means we're going to have to solve with factoring. So if we combine our t's on this side, I get 4t plus t squared plus 3. And then you should remember that we need to always have our equation equal to 0 when we solve with factoring. So I'm going to subtract 8t here so that I get 0 on this side. And then we have some more like terms to combine. 0 now equals t squared minus 4t plus 3. So let's factor this so we can find out what t equals. I need two numbers that add to make negative 4 and multiply to make positive 3. Your two numbers should be negative 1 and negative 3. So remember this is the zero product property. We have two numbers multiplied together and they equal 0. So that means we can set one number equal to 0 and then the other number equal to 0 and solve them both. So our possibilities are t could equal 1 or t could equal 3. We have two things that t can be and make this equation back up here true. So if you're stuck on a certain part of this, make sure you write yourself a note so that you can ask questions tomorrow because this stuff is pretty tough.